in this video we'll be looking at nodal method a method in which uh, a point on the circuit is assumed to be at zero potential zero is just a reference we could have taken 10 volt or 20 volt anything just for the simplicity we take the potential of any point to be zero and the current at each junction is calculated by this simply potential difference is equal to ir using ohm's law and we use that the current entering must be equal to current leaving so summation of the current at any junction must be equal to zero so just to elaborate that i have taken an example in which there are three cells so these are 10 20 30 and few resistances we have assumed this point to be zero volt or we could have made it earth so these three points are on zero volt then we have to convert this into this node we'll talk about this node this junction node is a junction so when we jump the battery i can say if this is 30, zero this will be plus 30 so i've assumed uh, i have assigned this plus 30 volt at this point and if this is zero then this point will be plus 20 as i am moving from negative to positive so there will be a rise in potential by 20 volt so it will be plus 20 and similarly at this point as i am moving from positive to negative the potential final or the change in potential will be minus 10 from 0 to decrease in 10 will give you minus 10 so these are the three potentials of the point and these are the three given resistances we have assumed the potential of the node to be v and we just assume that v is smallest out of these three so the current is flowing in the direction of decreasing potential as v is smallest so all the current will submerge at this point and give it zero as there is no current leaving so some of the current entering the junction must be zero again as there is no current leaving this junction the sum of i1 i2 and i3 will be zero this is the amount of current entering and this is the amount of current leaving which is zero so just how to write the values of i1 i2 i3 is again potential difference v is smaller than all these three volt of minus 10 30 and 20 so there will be a difference in potential as uh, for i1 30 minus v divided by the resistance involved between them i1 is the potential difference 30 minus v divided by the resistance involved between them is 5 similarly for this i2 it will be 20 minus v and the resistance involved will be 10 so potential difference by resistance will give you i2 similarly for i3 it will be minus 10 minus v again this point is slightly tricky minus 10 minus v we have assumed v to be even less than 10 even less than minus 10 so minus 10 minus v divided by 10 will give you 0 these are the three currents will give you 0 we'll solve for v we get v as this and the values of i1 i2 and i3 again the i3 comes out to be negative then similarly as what i told in kvl and kcl whenever the assumed current comes out to be negative it means the actual direction of current is opposite to what we have assumed in the diagram so from this 10 ohm resistance the current is not flowing towards right in reality the current must be flowing towards left and will have a value of 11 by 4 there's no change in the value of the current just the direction as it has come negative again there's a beautiful example in which we have to find the current through these resistances so uh, as we can see this 5 and this 10 ohm are in series because they will have the same current in this loop and this 10 and this 10 is also in series so they will have the same current so we can say we can just add them together and place it on one side of the battery just to make this diagram see this 10 and this 5 will give you this 15 these two 10s will give you this 20 the battery's polarity will remain unchanged and this 5 is not either in series or directly in parallel with any of them so it will remain as it is so again
again the question has appeared to what we have solved earlier so again we give the potential at zero at any of the point so we give them zero potential and plus 20 plus 10 and plus 30 in this case similarly we have assumed v to be smaller than all these so i1 will be 30 minus t divided by resistance involved which is 20 and i2 will be 10 minus v divided by resistance involved 5 i3 will be 20 minus v resistance involved is 15 we'll solve for v and get for i1 i2 and i3 whatever current comes out to be negative is actually opposite in the direction what we have assumed this is another beautiful example in which we are just following that uh, it is given that VA minus VB is equal to 15 volt and we have to find the current in the circuit current through this and current through all these these 4 and 2 ohm so whenever it is given VA minus VB it has been indicated from where you have to move so final minus initial always changes final minus initial so a is final and b is initial so we have to move from b to a again i am repeating whenever this type of statement is given it states final minus initial is 15 so a is final and b is initial means we are moving from b to a b to a so again i have assumed the current in this is i1 and there's a current in i2 in the assumed direction so the current through this part of the circuit will be i1 plus i2 as the current i2 will be moving upward towards the junction i1 is also towards left towards the junction and i1 plus i2 will leave away from the junction towards right okay so current i1 will be towards the right of the junction okay so by just applying these equation as per kvl you must have seen a video named kvl and kcl before applying these conventions va minus vb again moving from b to a we are moving opposite to the current so a 2 ohm that's why plus i1 into 2 again we are moving opposite to current which is i1 plus i2 through 2 ohm we jump battery from positive to negative that's why minus 20 again we jump a battery from negative to positive that's why plus 10 again we cross as a resistance opposite to the direction of current towards a so plus 4 i and it is given in the question that v b minus v v a minus v b is 15 so we get this is the first equation we get about the second equation which is formed by this loop this loop we move in the assumed direction it can be clockwise it can be anti-clockwise i have just assumed it to be clockwise so what we get let's start from which point uh, 8 i1 okay this is just the simplified form of above one now this is the equation for the loop which is we have moved the battery jumped the battery from negative to positive terminal it's plus 20 then minus i1 plus i2 is the current flowing through it into 2 ohm we are moving in the direction of current that's why minus again we crosses the lower resistance of 2 ohm in the direction of current that's why minus i2 into 2 will give you 0 as the loop is completed just look at from this 2 ohm the current flowing is i1 plus i2 so i have used i1 plus i2 in the lower 2 ohm there is a current i2 only so i have used i2 only it will give you zero resistance by solving this we get the equation 2 and from 1 and 2 we can get the values of i1 and i2 both okay thank you hopeful hopefully it will be helpful to you thanks thanks a lot